Okay, welcome to episode two. And we're going to talk about the first episode a little bit of the HBO series. So, it starts in 1968 with two scientists discussing infections. And. I meant to tell you, I was down on Jordan Street. Hold on. A soldier showed up with a group of about five civs, all in handcuffs. Let me guess. Fireflies. Yep. They lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. They just executed all of them. <sighs> Holy shit. Yeah, I hear it's like that all over the city. They're cracking down on them hard. Yeah. I got a cousin with them. Seriously? Yeah. The idiot thinks he's gonna save the world. <sighs> Hope he's all right. <laughs> Let's search the area. So the scientists say they're not worried about viral infections because they usually win. But he is worried about fungal infections because they can alter our minds. He talks about forceps, how they take over the brains of ants. Consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. Get close to it. What about Robert? Who's he holding up with tonight? The guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. He talks about how fungi can alter our minds like forceps with the sole purpose of spreading it. the infection. And more importantly, spreading it by any means necessary and preventing decomposition by replacing its skin with fungus. And they can't survive, or fungi can't survive, temperatures higher than 94 degrees. But the scientist says, what if, say for example, Let's just be cool, man. Let's say, for example, global temperatures increase. There's no telling how it would evolve. And then, if it takes over in humans, well then, we lose, because there's no cure for it, as far as we know. And then it cuts to 2003 with Sarah. And I 
do like that they, oh shit, not cover, not cover. Slow us down. Yeah, you're right. Come on, the docks are this way. Let's do this. And it cuts to Sarah, or it cuts to Sarah waking up and Joel waking up, and they're out of pancake mix, which. Apparently, from the YouTube videos I've seen, is relevant because the infection spreads through flour. There's our boy. That cocky son of a bitch. Let's go wrap this up. Let's be smart about this. Shit, There's a lot of them. A long time. Yeah, well, we lost our contacts in the north, the contacts in the south. I don't know who's left out there to sell us stuff. That's why we take a shitty protection. Fucking robber. That rat better be good for it. <laughs> if he is, then what? Oh, the zone's done for. We better think of an exit strategy. You're insane. Going outside the wall is suicide. Well, plenty of the other smugglers do it. What do you think's gonna happen here once supplies run out? I'd still take my chances in here. Look, take it easy. Ah! <laughs> 
Anyway, the radio talks about a disturbance in Jakarta and Indonesia, which comes into play later. And then as they're leaving, the old lady is eating biscuits, which has flour. Sarah says Joel loves biscuits, but Joel says he can't eat them because he's on some kind of diet or something. Atkins or whatever. And another nice detail is that on the bumper of Tommy's car, it says he's a desert storm veteran. I thought that was a nice touch. Then it cuts to Sarah going to the city to fix Joel's watch. And the shop owner's wife closes down in a panic and tells Sarah she should go home. And then Sarah goes to the Adler's place and I like that they showed Granny twitching in the background. That's the way to do it. I'll leave it to Robert to piss everyone off. Office. Robert must have run in there. Let's go get him. Oh shit! Get back! Get the fuck back! We just want to talk, Robert. We well, got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Now go fuck yourself. He's running. Robert! Joel, this way! Feelings, right? None at all. All right. God damn it! We missed you. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say. The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but it's complicated. All right. hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stop! 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 Ugh. Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold him. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I'd say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Oh, come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? I can't. Just give me a couple of <laughs> Who has our guns? It's the Fireflies. I owe the Fireflies. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We can just, just go in there, finish them off, we get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Just go get them. That is a stupid idea. Uh. 
Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. There you go. Queen firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? <laughs> I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back, then some. How do we know you got them? The way I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. You're right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Search the area. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. We gotta get out of here, now. You want this deal? We gotta move. Through here. I know a way around this. Come on. Is that your people? What's left of them? Why do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. And it cuts to Joel and Sarah. Why now? We've been quiet. Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile us up. Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. <laughs> and Sarah gives Joel the watch. And Joel forgot the cake that he's supposed to get. Uh, Joel, give me a hand with this. <sighs> hey, how you holding up? I'll live. Hold up. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door under the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these odds. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. We'll see how it goes. Let's get moving. We need to get to that door. Good. Stay quiet. Another nice detail was the Curtis and Viper too. Okay. Watch yourself. From The Last of Us Part Two. 
I thought that was nice that they put that in there. For the fans of the game. They're out in numbers today. Don't be stupid. Goodbye, friend. We should go, Marlene. There's bound to be more soldiers on the way. You're right. Let's move. And then Joel puts Sarah to bed, and it cuts to her waking up to helicopters and the emergency broadcast. And also the dog jumping at the window. Going, Merlene. This way. It's not far now. You okay? I'm running on fumes, but I'll make it. The place is right up ahead. Without proper authorization, will be arrested and prosecuted. The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. Joel, give me a hand with this. Whoa. Come on now. Get on up. Get the fuck away from hey. me! Let her go. You're recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. Uh, that's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa, I don't whoa, think shit, that's the I'm best not Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you, too. 
He was a good man. I could just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. It's just cargo, Joel. Where are we no here? more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. shooting but what happened fireflies same thing's gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street you're the pro i'm just following you Down here. Where are we going? Up there. That'll get us to the North Tunnel. How are we supposed to reach that? Just give me a minute. Use it to smuggle things? Yep. Like illegal things? Sometimes. You ever smuggle a kid before? No, that's a first. What's the deal with you and Marlene, anyways? I don't know. She's my friend, I guess. Your friend, huh? You're friends with the leader of the Fireflies. What are you, like, 12? She knew my mom. And she's been looking after me. And I'm 14. Not that that has anything to do with anything. So where are your parents? <sighs> where are anyone's parents? They've been gone a long, long time. Hmm. So instead of just staying in school, you decide to run up and join the Fireflies, is that it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me, if that's what you're getting at. You don't know the best thing about my job? I don't gotta know why. To be honest with you, I give two shits what you're up to. Well, great. Good. Is it? <sighs> what are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. Your watch is broken. <laughs> you mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too.
You know, I've never been this close to the outside. Look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey. Sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Merlene? She'll make it. I saw the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. Let's go. Think it's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling? Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. Or the second, for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, let's just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. Who's waiting for us at the drop-off? She said there's some fireflies that have traveled all the way from another city. The girl must be important. What is the deal with you? You some big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. How long is this all gonna take? If everything goes as planned, we should get you to them in a few hours. Ellie, once we get out there, I need you to follow our lead and stay close. Yeah, of course. There's a lot in the show that's not in the game, and I really like that. Now hold up. There's a patrol up ahead. All right. We're good. Come on up. Come on, kid. Watch your step. <clears throat> this rain ain't gonna do us any good. Holy shit. I'm actually outside. Up this way. Stupid. Move. Turn around. On your knees. You scan him, I'll call it in. All right. Put your hands on your head. This is Ramirez at Sector 12, requesting pickup for three stragglers. Understood. Look the other way. We can make this worth your while. Shut up. What's the ETA? Couple minutes. Sorry. Oh fuck! I thought we were just gonna hold him up or something. 
Oh, shit. Look. Jesus Christ. Marlene set us up? Why the hell are we smuggling an infected girl? I'm not infected. No? Is this lying? I can explain. You better explain fast. Look at this. I don't care how you got infected. It's three weeks old. No, everyone turns within two days, so you stop bullshitting. It's three weeks. I swear. Why would she set you up? I ain't buying it. Oh, shit. Tess, run. Run! Go! Go! Move! Quickly. All right, Ellie. When I give you the signal, we run. Signal. Run. Got it. Now, run. Stay away from those lights. Ready? Sure. Yeah. The soldiers, right there. I see him, I see him. They must have gotten through. Check the trenches. Just stay back. I don't see anything down there. Are we sure they came this way? As we're told otherwise, we just keep scanning. Stay down, don't let him see you. Come on, kid. Follow Joel. Anything. Clear back here. How's a look up ahead? So far, so good. Did you see that? Eddie? Here I'm up ahead. It's gotta be those fucking fireflies telling you. We'll be done with them soon enough. Hold up. Shit, stay there. Go, go. Go, go! We can get through here. Get past them. Thanks, 
spider this yet. Let's go around. Have a look. It's too many, Tess. Yeah, this looks right. Stay close. At least we're out of the rain. Have a look. I think we can squeeze through here. Charlie Squad, report! Sh shit, shit. I got more soldiers. Target's still on the loose, sir. Break off pursuit and report back to Sector 11. I don't think they see us. Acknowledge. Get to your vehicle. Stay in the shadows. Yes, up through here through this pipe. I think we can make it through here. Stay very close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Gather up. Call us back. We're turning to the wall. There you go. Look, what was the plan? Let's say that we deliver you to the Fireflies. What then? Marlene, she said that they have their own little quarantine zone. With doctors, they're still trying to find a cure. Yeah, we've heard that before, huh, Tess? And that... Whatever happened to me is the key to finding a vaccine. Oh, Jesus. It's what she said. Oh, I'm sure she did. Hey, fuck you, man. I didn't ask for this. Me neither. Tess, what the hell are we doing here? What if it's true? I can't... What if, Joel? I mean, we've come this far. Let's just finish it. Do I need to remind you what is out there? I get it. Alright, if this is a checkpoint, this is going to be the end of episode this way. two. If we cut through downtown, we can hit the Capitol building by sunrise. We hope. 